What's up guys, welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today we are doing uh, the Aquarii Zoo and we are going to take a look at the Asian Highlands. So this was uh, like everything else, honestly. This is all off the cuff type building. Uh, just figuring things out as I go. So as we enter through the upper area of Crikey Corner, and we're down at the guest perspective because that's how this zoo was meant to be, was viewed from the guest perspective. We enter the main little courtyard here. So we've got some conservation boards and education and whatnot. Then we've got our axodotals in here. We got our food and drink up over here. A little custom counter and a little gate for the uh, for the staff to go through. We got ourselves a little like shrine deal type thing going on right here. The bathroom entrance that is a not a walk-in bathroom. Then we have this lovely little like uh, picnic area, I guess you can call it, where you can come out here and view the outside and get some get some good old fashioned sunlight, right? And then we have this huge enclosure for our Malaysian tape here and the uh, proboscis monkeys. So we'll take a closer look at that a little bit later. Lots and lots of garden work. That was a big thing was uh, I wanted lots and lots of garden work in here um, for a very condensed space. And I think I, uh, I think I succeeded. Take a look at the architecture right quick. And so this side is just one side of this little nature walk that I kind of made. And we'll take a closer look at that a little bit later as well. That goes into the Asian lowlands. That'll be the next video. So you'll see that. Uh, I think that'll drop Wednesday, I believe. Then we got ourselves another little bathroom. Again, it's not walk in, so there's no point in going in there and taking a look. Coming about this way, again, more nature stuff, our enclosure. Education. Oh yeah, our, our education boards. We got our custom education boards that I made. We come over here, we got our staff exit outside, and then we have our crested newts in here. These guys are pretty small, they're kind of hard to find. You gotta kinda have to cheat your way to see these guys. Oh hey, there's one right there. Ah, I can't get to them. Why? Why? There he is. He's a swimmy boy. Wow, that is really uh, sensitive. All right, well, there's our newt. Let's see here. How can we get back? There we go. So we're going to speed through this part. And then here is our little nature walk. And again, we got a whole bunch of conservation boards setting up that I just put inside the rock. And then here's the other side. A nice little stream, if you will. And then we've got two bridges that go over. And again, more conservation. Just kind of spice it up with each little one. Got the little monkey statues and whatnot. Then a second look from the bridge. And we make our way over to the end of the nature walk. So it's not a huge, huge area. I didn't want it to be too big. Um, honestly, it's, it is too big for what I have in it, but I made it work. Little panda. And then we have a little water shrine type thing right there. So yeah, I, it's honestly, this area was way too big 
but I had to make it work. Um, I had different plans. Um, it, it's kind of weird. So originally, if we step outside the Asian Highlands, I was going to have the guests come out this, uh, this wall here, and they were going to swing down this way. And I decided, no, I don't want to do that because I want to force the guests to come through the highlands and then go down into the lowlands to continue out. So that's what that was. And that's a sneak peek at the uh, at the exterior. The exterior, honestly, the exterior looks like hell. <laughs> it looks horrible, right? But it's not about the exterior. It's about the interior. So here we have the actual enclosure. So we got our Malaysian tapir doing what Malaysian tapirs do, I suppose. We got this nice little indoor waterfall, double double waterfall, and then back in here they have a little little resting area to get out of the to get out of the view of the guests. So you can come back here and hide if they so desire. Um, that shouldn't be an issue because it's one sided glass, but you know who knows. Oh, uh, let's see here. There's our monkeys. We got a few of them chilling out over here. Stuff to play with. Um, we've got the uh, the climbing stuff. There's trees that they can climb. I colored this brown to match the surroundings better because I think it was like blue or something like that is the is the color that they give you to start off with and it just looked horrible. It didn't go well. So I changed it to this brown color and it works great. Got some resting platforms, lots and lots of toys, trees. Oh, there's a baby monkey. Hold up. Pause. <laughs> this is a screenshot moment, I think. Let's see here. Should we get the baby? I think we should get the baby. God, the schnoz on the on these things, man. Let's see here. What's a good? It looks like a good thumbnail right there, right? We'll get a little bit closer. Get them pretty eyes of his. Um, God, trying to get the right angle. Sorry, guys. There we go. I think that'll be a good thumbnail. But uh, yeah, so. That's what I did. We got the bridge so they can cross the bridge, even though they are aquatic, they do swim as do the tape here. And then I did the same thing over here. Um, I just customized it a little bit, changed the coloring. I added support so it looks like it's going into the ground and into the walls. That way it looks like it's all nice and supported as it should be anyways. And uh, yeah, not much um, in terms of the enclosure rather chaotic but it works really really well I think and um, yeah I'm quite happy with it so that's a that's your look into the uh, background or the uh, back backstage I guess not really backstage but anyways and then we got our lighting so I definitely used a lot of these lanterns here I used the windows the Asian windows for a lot of this I did throw in uh, some blue underground lighting in here. And then obviously I threw in green underground lighting back in on the nature walk. Um, some of the other interesting things. Uh, yes, these guys. Uh, well, you can't, you can see it there, but a better view of them is over here where there's not so much light pollution. So these and you can kind of see the outline here. So I used the uh, the plaster wall with the hole in it. I threw this bad boy in there. And then on the back side, why can't you see him on the back side? That's weird. It's only showing the one on the back side. That's really weird, but okay, it works. <laughs> um, but anyways, with the new update or the new pack, we've got a uh, We've got these panes that glow, these little square window things that glow. And so I put them behind all this 
to make it look like glowing from the outside just like over here and um, yeah it came out really well I'm surprised with how well it came out I was not expecting much obviously there's some issues but I mean most people are they're not going to take a second look at that but um yeah you know guys this is the uh, Asian Highlands in Aquari Zoo and I love your comments um, about it what you think about it and uh, yeah if you like the video hit that like button if I've earned it hit the subscribe button and as always be safe be cool and have fun we'll catch you in the next one